Well, due details tonight about uh, the property that some believe may hold answers in the Clyde Cancer Cluster. Good evening, everyone. I'm Diane Larson. And I'm Christian Brown in for Lee Conklin tonight. In-depth testing has begun on the old Whirlpool Park site, where earlier this year the U.S. EPA found high levels of toxic metals and PCBs in the soil. 13 ABC's Christine Long just returned from Green Springs, where for the first time the property owners let our cameras inside the fences. She's live with a story you'll only see here on 13 ABC. Christine? Diane, Christian, the owners a father and son want to know as much as the rest of the community if something on that property is causing kids to get sick. At least 37 children within a 12 mile radius of that area have been diagnosed with some form of cancer in the past 17 years. So today, owners unlock the gates to show they're being thorough. This right here was the edge of the pool. You'll see like some no, no diving signs. Tom Bowles is the attorney for the Abdu family, who bought the old Whirlpool Park property from Whirlpool Corporation a few years ago. Last week, the company, the largest employer in Clyde, signed an agreement with the family allowing Whirlpool to test this property with oversight by the EPA. We're trying to thoroughly characterize this site and, and really find everything there is to know about the property. We're not trying to hide everything. Whirlpool purchased the property in 1953 and operated it as a park for employees and their families before closing it down seven years ago. The old concession stand still stands, as well as swings and slides. The large pool, which was filled with spring water when it was open for families to enjoy, now sits dry. One of the men who bought the old park is Jonathan Abdu, and he has big visions for this property. He wants to turn the old pool into a pond, and if you look up here on this hill, you see all these wooden stakes. This is where he plans to build his family's dream home. Those plans are on hold. Yesterday, two certified environmental professionals had their first walkover on the site. Next month, 60-ton rigs will be out here digging samples 100 feet deep. Certainly the PCBs that were found are concerning, and we want to know the exact scope and extent of that contamination. There's a theory about how it got there. Bowles says the spring-fed water reservoir was also fed from an unsealed tile that was covered with fill around 1959. Later, Whirlpool built a basketball court on top. Today, you can see the four spots around the court where earlier this year, the U.S. EPA dug and discovered high levels of carcinogens nine feet deep. It's sad to think that it could be contaminated and even sadder to think that it could have impacted people, you know, health-wise. This testing is expected to take several months to complete. The attorney for the Abdu family says the earliest they'll know any results is March. Reporting live, Christine Long, 13 ABC, Action News.